repeating folks how you're doing use the force positive mental attitude you know how we do so um but once again with the renegade master um so what am i gonna say today um i'm gonna kick off by saying um i did i've started doing live feeds of my music of our music and um uh, I'm doing lunchtime feeds at the moment. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do a bigger set on Sunday. I'm just doing three song, uh, three song, three track uh, mixes, uh, mixes at the moment. <laughs> I'll just I'll just mumble. I'll just mumble my way through this. It'll be more interesting. Um, so I'm doing I'm doing lunchtime live feeds. Um, you know, I, I thought that it could be a good time of day. Um, you know, to, to reach people and for people to be able to, you know, on their lunch break, have a little watch, watch a bit of live music. Why not? Why not watch a little bit of live, conscious, aware music, right? What else? What else is it going to be, right? Um, so, um, I guess, um, I guess there's a few, uh, it's really, there's a few conversations I've had recently, um, with quite a few different people and the general consensus is is getting more and more like who are all the people that are agreeing with covid and all the measures and um and how most people really in fact it, well, let's not say most but a lot of people are very much becoming this is weird it doesn't make sense the only people that don't seem to be taking this line of thought are those that are still comfortable. That 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 seems to be the the um, underlying factor of those that are saying and those that aren't. Those that are still comfortable are still in a position where it's not affecting them, you know, um, and and so they're like, no, you know. Um, but I guess, I guess what I really want, surprise, surprise, is for us all to be a little bit more aware, a little bit more informed, so that we can see the inconsistencies, so that we can objectively, and this is, this is, this is like the key and my favourite point, is to objectively observe all the information available and look at it from an external point right so it's like watching yourself right so throughout your day say you so i was chatting with someone earlier and we were talking about road rage right and how you know um a moment after the road rage you could be like fuck why did i do that Oh, you know, it's either no good for you or you then get to thinking compassionately, whereby it's like, oh, that person could be having a bad day. Um, you know, say someone was going to cut you up. Ah, oh, you fucking wankers, you know. Rah. Right. Um, and, and I guess what. What I would like to see more of, which is you know, what I did. Right, and, and road rage was one of the areas that I had to gain more awareness and self-control, right? Is that instead of the moment after it happens, make it so that the moment before it happens, you get the thought of, right, so say someone's just about to cut you up, right? Right, that person could be rushing to a hospital because their mum's got cancer. That person could be running late for work because their girlfriend stole their charger and their phone died. That person could be heading to the hospital for their own appointment. That person could be a dickhead. That person could be having a really bad day because they woke up feeling really heavy and unhappy and they're not quite thinking straight and they're rushing around. Right, so if we can get ourselves into the state of awareness whereby we are monitoring, and, and more, I prefer, I don't really like the term monitoring, so we're going to, we're going to rewind that one, right? And we're going to say observe, right? Because this is something that Alan Watts talks about. I've shared a couple of links. He's an old school philosopher um, who's now dead. Um, but 
he was so on it, right, and, um, and, uh, and I've just sort of forgotten what I was going to say about Alan Watson, um, oh, if only I could in live time rewind, you know, oh, that's what I was saying, boop, um, uh, road wage and keeping it, the observer, thank you very much, so, becoming the observer of yourself is a powerful tool, right? Um, because basically, if you're checking yourself, so I, I say it like this, if you start to observe yourself and you realise that you suffer from either road rage or someone will say something to you and instantly you'll react, it'll be more of a defensive mechanism, right? And then afterwards you're kind of like, oh, you know, I've got... I could have dealt with that better. Right, so we want to get to that thought before the thing, right? So if you're, and this is my favourite one because it works, right, is if you're going to bed, right, and you think to yourself, right, the drive-in tomorrow morning, drive-in's always stressful, right? The drive-in to work or the commute, right, it's always stressful. Now, why is it stressful? Well, what a lot of people noticed, and what I certainly noticed, was that actually I was creating most of my stress. Now, you can blame other people for it, but really it's our fault. It's our responsibility, right? So, what I did was, going to bed and I'm like, you know, I've got, I've got to sort this out. You know, I got in trouble with work, it was a sign written van, I got complaints because, you know, people had cut me up and I'd raged on them, and then they'd just ring up and complain about you. Right? So it doesn't matter whether you didn't do something wrong or right in the first place, people will just act, right? And this is what we want to get away from, right? This is what we're talking about. It's not just reacting, it's making sure you act consciously, not just conscious to yourself, not just like, oh, I know who I am. Yeah, yeah, maybe you do. But are you thinking about other people in the same manner? Right, and that's, this is, it, it, there's many, it's not just that. Right, but anyway, so you go to bed, right? You're thinking about the driving and it's going to be stressful. Right, I need to, I need to like take control of myself so that I'm not rushing, so that I'm not raging, and so that I'm not, you know, acting out, right? Just reacting. So you're not, you're not rushing, you're not raging, you're not reacting. The three R's, there you go, off the top, we got it. Right? So it's the three R's. This is what we want to achieve awareness and control over. Right? So, yeah, we're just winging this. Swing, bada, bada, bada. <laughs> so, basically, you go into bed and you're thinking, right, well, I really need to deal with whatever this issue is, right? Whether it's road rage, whether it's the way someone speaks to you at work and it gets you fucking fired up and you keep popping off at them and you're getting in trouble for it. Right? Or even you're not getting in trouble for it, but you say something to him and it puts a bad vibe on you today. Or you don't say something to him and that puts a bad vibe on you today. Whatever whatever your thing is that you want to address or that you need to address, maybe you don't want to address it because you're thinking this is just a pain in the ass, but maybe you should, right? So go to bed, think, problem, right? I'm just going to use mine, right? So I used to have road rage. It was like, right, road rage. Right, I need to deal with this rage, right? Now, you want a an anchor and a really big positive, that's what I'm aiming for, right? So the anchor needs to be a really strong feeling, memory, emotion or place, like a happy place, whether it's real or fake, right? But if you've got a fake happy place you can create, some nice meadow, it's got a bit of a hill on it, there's a nice tree at the top of the hill, you're overlooking some idyllic countryside, nothing in the distance, there's the sea, you know, and you just sit under the tree, in the shade, sun shining, blue skies, there's the sea way off in the distance, some slight rolly hills of the English countryside, or whatever country you're in, right? And, and you use this image, right? So you're laying there in bed, you're thinking, right, road rage is a problem. Right, let's get this anchor, right? Road rage, anchor, anchor. Right, you've got to really focus, right? For me, it used to be my granddad, right? This guy that's written down here, Percy William Leonard Woodford, right? So I'd be like, road rage, granddad, road rage, granddad, calm. 
road rage, granddad, road rage, granddad, I need to stay calm. Right, I need to stay calm. I want to drive to the speed limit. I want to give people space. I need to keep myself calm. And that means being the alchemist, right? Now, this is, I'm no master. I have not mastered any of this. I have merely gone through it. And I'm still going through it in some sections, right? There's some parts of my life that I'm still utilising these methods to grow, right? So you're like, Road rage, anchor, positive outcome, right? Now, in the moment, the road rage is just about to hit. You'll get the fucking anchor kicking to your head. Granddad. And in that moment, just before the road rage, you've got a choice inside you where you're like, right, I'm either going to rage now, which I don't want to do, or I'm going to pull it in, go no, because I want to be calm. I'm going to pull back a bit, give that person space so they can just come on in. Even if they're cutting you up, they could be having a bad day. This is about selfless, selfish progression, right? Because it benefits you and it benefits everyone else, right? And so you use this simple method on anything you want to do. And all it does is it brings into your awareness the thing that you want to change. And it, you will, your brain will give you the choice. Do I want to do this or not? Right? And the more we grow that way of being, the more we become the observer, not just of our own landscape, but of the wider. And then we can objectively, because we've learned to objectively look at ourselves, critique and change in a healthy manner. And then we can objectively look at the world out there. We can objectively look at the things that are going on. We can analyse the playing field and go, well, OK, this looks like the board at the moment. I need to make that move. You know, we are the chess player, not the chess pieces, as Ralph Smart has said before. I like that. He also said they tried to bury us, but they forgot we were seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Love that shit. Um, so the more we can bring in to our conscious awareness what we are about to do, the stronger our choice comes, the stronger our conscious, aware choice becomes, right? As again, I'm no fucking master, but I've done this. It works. I've spoken with people that are professionals, NLP practitioners, neuro-linguistics programming, right? So we've all got the ability to do these things. It takes a little bit of work, but surely, surely it's worth it. Because at the moment, companies are getting destroyed livelihoods are being ripped apart and our freedoms are being taken from us now if we can't become consciously aware enough that we know enough information and ourselves enough and we have the self-control within us how are we going to do anything about it you know like it or not shit's changing and like business people would say we need to learn to pivot, right? So we need to learn that when something comes across our path and changes our plan, we don't get freaked out and go, oh, fuck. Ugh. We go, oh, boom, slide that and trajectory into another direction, right? With the same goal in mind, because it's keeping that same, I want to do what's right. I want to help people so that we can come together and create a worthy society worth bringing children into, worth sending children to an academic system that's actually going to give them keys for life, not turn them into fucking robots for the corporations that want to fuck us over and create a harsher society where they've got more bloody control. Like, you've only got to look at the hierarchical structure and study it for a while to realise what is happening those that are in power want to continue to keep it while the population grows and we become more connected so they need to divide and conquer it's the age-old thing they did to our ancestors and more and we are coming up on that time so i'm going to say to you my good people use the force positive mental attitude even when it's hard 
Be kind with your thoughts to yourself and to others. Keep loving your hearts for yourselves and others and let's get it. Get what, John? Awareness, of course. Peace in.